This is Mob of the Dead Bridge Survival. If you remember my video not too long ago, we played a roof survival map. The exact same mod creator has decided to make another one. And oh my god, visually it looks amazing actually. Like just... But look at that, all the lightning in the, uh, the electric chairs. They've also teased a third map, so we'll see if that comes out eventually. I'm curious to what that could be. What? <laughs> Bro did a barrel roll. Okay, let's go for a spin in the box. What is in here? I'm guessing, oh yeah, we've got a blunder get. We got the SMR. Okay, dude. I mean, is it actually decent though? For some reason, people make the SMR extremely good in like every custom map. Bro, can they stop barrel rolling? I can't kill them. These zombies have got like Olympic levels of athleticism. I, I have words, man. What is in here? Oh, we've got like a tiny little room thing. A part? Okay. What What is that part? I don't... Oh, it's a shield part. Well, unlike the roof one, this is all going to be one room, I assume. So let's have a look for that other shield part. It's probably going to be like back in this corner. I knew it did. And there should be a third one as well. Yep. <laughs> right there, okay. And then the buildable bench is over here. Boom, that was the quickest shield I've had in ages. Nice and easy. Spectral shield. It does look really cool, let's be honest. The mob shield. Hello, Zombo. Bye-bye. So what we got going on then? Are there any secret rooms we could possibly go in? It doesn't look like it. Oh, I activated a uh, music part. I don't actually want to do it because copyright. So I want to try and get my hands on the blunder gap because that would be cool. I assume the uh, the ray gun weapon is going to be in this as well. It's like a ray gun shotgun. Oh my god, we just got every drop. What the hell? So we've got a max ammo. We're going to nuke. I guess we'll pick this up. Get those extra points. Uh, perk wise, it looks like we only have quick revive. Am I dumb? Is there a wonder fist machine oh yeah can we actually go in the uh the thing with chairs we can't interesting oh the insta kill ran out good job me we have a plane above hello is there some kind of is it like nuke town where they're gonna drop perks on me because that'd be cool yeah the aesthetics of this map look awesome we'll definitely be doing like a cause and effect on this map in the near future hello death machine don't mind if i do and a double points. Oh, you're just spoiling me now. Right at the end of the round. Okay, well, we can almost afford Packer Punch, but if there's no Wonder Fizz, I don't really want to get, like, the Mustang and Sally because it will just kill us. Oh, hi, Mule Kick. I guess we have one extra perk then. Quick Revive and Mule Kick. Oh, the dynamic duo, huh? It's cool. It kind of reminds me of uh, of Town, almost, with the Packer Punch being, like, right in the spawn, but we've not got any perks, though, or, like, many perks. Got the old Olympia. Are you guys Olympia gang or M14 gang? Because I'm kind of neither. I'm just on the but I know people are uh, quite opinionated when it comes to that stuff. Uh, to each their own, to be honest, you know. For all the Olympia fans out there, I'll pack a punch it for you, you know. Why not, man? I'm kind of curious what the other uh, pap camo is going to be anyway. Ooh, it's like this pink camo. This looks sick, actually. Four shots as well. Not bad, not bad. And last zombie. God, for a second, I thought I wasn't recording. That would have been tragic. I still can't believe in that one video I did recently, I just wasn't recording the whole time. That's just so ridiculous. I've been doing YouTube on and off for the last, like, nine years, and that was the first first time I've ever done that. Like, come on now, I'm 22, not 82. This is one gorgeous pap camo, though, I'm not gonna lie. This looks actually so good. I don't think there's gonna be any Easter eggs, but just visually, this map is, like, stunning. Look at how fucking tall the actual bridge is, though. Imagine remaking the entirety of Mob of the Dead and then not putting this iconic bridge in. Oh, wait, Blood of the Dead did that. You know, I give Blood of the Dead some hate, but at the same time, it's not a bad map by any means. Oh, what the hell is that? Huh? What? What was that? Some kind of parachute? I'm not tripping when I say I saw that, right? Wait, it is like Nuketown. The perks drop. What the hell? I kind of wish I didn't get rid of the Mustang and Sally now. Shit. Wait, that's awesome. I was joking earlier when I said that. Right, let's death machine it up. That's genuinely so cool. I mean, we might as well pick it up because there's no reason not to, even though we don't have a PhD weapon. Oh my god. Hi, Brutus. Where the hell did you come from? That's actually pretty cool because, well... He wasn't in the roof survival map, actually, which I was a little surprised at. Get that nuke. Does it kill him? No, it doesn't. Oh, boy. Bye bye, buddy. The one thing I always liked about Brutus is he gives so many points when you kill him. Definitely a big bonus. Uh, I would love to have Speed Cola if I'm going to use this Olympia because it's genuinely not bad, but I could just do with uh, the reload being a bit faster. I suppose we'll get Quick Revive. I mean, we could pick up Mule Kick, but I don't know if there's a perk limit, so go for another spin. What are we going to get? What are we going to get? Some kind of cool weapon. M14. <laughs> Wait, M14 and Olympia. I was like, genuinely, I wanted to get it at some point. Hello. But I wasn't expecting to actually get it that quick. Screw it then. We'll go uh, M14 and Olympia. And we even got the same camo seat. We're all on an even playing field here, guys. Whether you're M14 or Olympia gang, I appreciate you all.
Okay, yeah, this is actually really good, though. Olympia is amazing because I love shotguns and it's reliably one-shotting, but this just, like... I mean, now we have an insta-kill, so it's kind of skewed, but pretty satisfying to use. How many death machines have we had this game? I swear we've had so many. I don't really want to get Mule Kick until we get Juggernog, though, because, you know, if we do actually go down, it would kind of suck. Hello? Oh, my God. Hipfire, not the greatest. Pew, 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 pew. Deadshot would actually be decent then, wouldn't it? Because if you don't know, Deadshot basically gives you better hip fire on PC. Oh, Speed Cold is back here. Okay. Gimme, gimme. I mean, no jug yet. The classic Nuketown fashion. But I can't really complain because, yeah, like I was saying with the Olympia, it's great. But the reload, yeah, like this is just so much better. Very spammable now. This camo reminds me of, it's kind of like the Origins camo, but just different colors. I mean, it's sort of also a bit like the Revelations ones with the colors, but I really, really like it. We're already on round... Oh, God. We're already on round 11, and it's uh, 12 minutes into the recording. Pretty fast. We haven't had a Brutus in a while. I'm expecting one to just randomly spawn in any second now. Come on, dude. I know it's going to happen. Screw it as well. We'll get Mule Kick. I, I really hope that there is no four perk limit, because then I am just screwed. Forced into having Mule Kick. Hello, Tommy Gun. Probably pretty decent for points, actually. One of the better guns from Mob. Like, this was like the go-to gun, actually, in Mob of the Dead. You'd pick this up and just grind for points. So I wonder what's going to happen. Maybe it's like... After we get all the perks on the map, we can activate these chairs or something, and perhaps we can go to a different place. Who knows? Or it's like a viable ending, maybe? They could just be purely there for aesthetic, and if that is the case, I don't mind, because they genuinely look so good. Also, yeah, this is godly for points, dude. We literally just, we train them. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I spoke too soon, man. It's good when you don't back yourself up into a wall. Okay, it's fine. We're alive. We've got speed cola back. Get quick revive because I actually need it. Oh, hi, double points. Don't mind if I do. We're going to get another perk anytime soon. It's so cool. It's like a parachute guy that just comes across and uh, drops it down. Oh, yeah, here we go. Plane's coming. Does that mean someone's going to... Uh... Yeah, here we go. Perk's dropping. What is that? Oh, it's Jug as well. Let's go. Oh, God, do not go down, do not go down, do not go down. Okay, we're Gucci then. Let's uh, let's buy this. I like the perk bottles as well. I think they're the BO4 perk bottles. Oh, yeah, I feel way safer now. Only thing I'd love would be, like, double tap, I guess. Can we get an F in chat for the double tap 2.0 just disappearing? MW3 Zombies is coming out, and they've still not brought it back, man. They're bringing back Death Perception. They're even having PhD Flopper because Dolphin Diving is in that game, but there's no double tap 2.0, which is just tragic. So we've really not had a Brutus in ages, have we? Hello, Death Machine. I suppose it's been a while. Let's go for a spin in the box. We'll get rid of the... Oh, hi, Brutus. Get the hell out of here, dude. Oh, we got the Acid Gat. What the hell? Gimme, gimme, gimme. I want it. Oh, ho, ho, hell yeah. I didn't know the acid gap was going to be in the box because I think on the roof one, they only had the, uh, oh, almost exploding myself. Oh my God, Brutus died. But yeah, they only had the blunder gap, the regular one, I think. At least I didn't see it in the box. So that's pretty cool because I'm assuming if we PhD flopper, it's probably going to reduce the explosion damage, which would be very nice. Let's uh, pack a punch. Sadly, there's no camo. Are you serious? Just instantly they just got on me. That's that's cool. I mean, at least I managed to pick up the gun, I suppose. Jesus. I mean, let's shoot this down then and run away. They do go to it, which is nice. I appreciate that. Can I at least get enough for quick revive, please? There we go. I've had more downs this game than like I have in ages. Don't know why I'm just having a uh, bit of a struggle on this map. Oh, what's that? I just saw a perk. Oh, it was quick revive disappearing. Sad, dude, sad. Well, um, Acid Gat isn't exactly the best for points, but it's definitely not terrible. Oh, is that another perk dropping? I saw lightning. Oh, yeah. I s Oh, what was that? That was that parachute guy dropping again. What is coming on, dude? Can I, can I interact with this? No! Oh, my God. 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 I'm fine. Yeah, it was. It was double tap. Hell yes. Okay, we'll get our hands on this real soon. I kind of want to buy double tap before Jug, but at the same time, with how bad I've been playing, maybe I need it. Oh, there we go. See, I had like... 50 death machines at the start of this game, and then we just sort of dropped off and didn't have anything, so here we go. Much better. Ouch! Even with a death machine, bro, they're like completely cucking me. All oh, right, we're good. Gimme Jug, dude. <laughs> Holy shit. We have a bit of an insta-kill for now. I mean, the Olympia's already a one-shot, but it's still nice. Um, actually, yeah. Knife, and we'll go get double tap 2.0. I keep thinking that that little, like, thing there is a nuke. Every time I just, I run past it, I'm like, oh, I gotta pick up the nuke quickly before it runs out. I'm having hallucinations, man. Oh, there goes my shield. Let's, uh, acid gat it up. 
Get a new shield. And a double point. Hell yeah. I wonder how many other wonder weapons are in this box. I'm going to get speed cola first and then we'll start spinning. All right. Gimme, 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 gimme. I suppose to be entirely fair, we are on round 18 now. You know, it's not like the lowest round in the world. Pew, pew, pew. Watch them all just get absolutely obliterated. Ooh. Acid get is one of the all time classics. That's for sure. It's pretty OP. I mean, considering how much ammo we have. Oh, and speaking of ammo, there's a max. So... We can just kind of spam it as much as we want. Probably break the game. Hopefully not. Ow, Jesus. Don't exploit myself. Easy as pie, dude. Round 19. It feels so good seeing like the whole Black Ops 2 HUD again. All right, I'm expecting another perk to drop probably soon-ish. Although there's not really many other perks we need. Do we have all of them? I guess there's like, what, Deadshot? Maybe Widow's Wine, perhaps? But to be honest, I've stopped buying Widows. Not because it's bad or anything. Just because like, it kind of just messes up my training more than it helps, you know? Oh, M1911. I mean, we can get an old Mustang and Sally if we want to. Oh, God. That's... Oh, this isn't good, is it? This isn't good. Please, 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 dude. Hello? I shot. There we go. How I made it out, I don't know. I want a limit test. Do the explosions damage me still, please? Okay, good. We can just, like, not care anymore. Hi, zombie. How's it going? You, you lived? Bro, you're standing on top of it. Like, come on, there we go. I guess the zombies are just built different. I imagine we'll get a perk dropping, like, here, maybe. It's quite cool, the placement of the perks, because we've got Speed Color Double Tap, and then we've got PhD Jug at the back. Mule Kick is, like, awkwardly in the middle. Quick Revive was there, so maybe it'll be on this side or something. All right, shoot into them. You easy as pie, dude. So overpowered. Let's let's get the nuke. Pack a punch, the M1911. Oh, yeah, I just noticed there's not a perk limit. Oh my god, wait, this green camo actually looks really good. Hoo -hoo. Oh, this is nice. I might make this the thumbnail, actually, because this looks really good. And it contrasts quite well with the mob, like, blue and orangey aesthetic. Mustang and Sally's great, but compared to, like, the acid gat, you really don't get much ammo, do you? Because, look, I've already, like, gone through basically all of it. Sure, you can not spam it as much, but the acid gat shoots three at a time, and it still manages to keep ammo for, like, a long time. Pew, 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 pew. Yeah, and we're already pretty much out. Did we get a max? We did. Oh, of course, dude. We got an RPG. Um, um, not bad. I'd rather get something a bit better, though. I guess we'll pick up Mule Kick. It's nice having a gun we can just spray in front of us, because even though the acid gets really good, obviously it has that little delay where you have to, look, watch. You've got to shoot it, and then they'll run to it. And you can't, like, use it to kill the zombies in front of you, because it just doesn't really work like that. Now we have Mule Kick, though. I guess we'll go for another spin. Maybe we could get some kind of a ray gun. It would be cool. An Uzi. Oh god, how I managed to get through there, I don't know. I guess this will be good for points, right? If we could just not have a stupid death. Remember when the point system was you shoot into the zombies and they give points? Man, what a crazy time, dude. Like, I've gone from about 1,000 points to almost 7,000 with only about 10 kills. Because, like, look, we pick up the to kill We kill a lot faster. But look, I only got, like, 1,500 points from that whole horde of zombies. Which is, like, the issue I have with Cold War's point system because, oh, the death machine went out. But yeah, you, like, lose out on so many potential potential points because it's basically just whatever gun does the most damage is the best gun which you know it's nice for variety you can use basically anything and it'll be viable for high rounds kind of but ooh, dual wield five sevens you know it has been a while since i've used them i'll give them some love i remember i used these you know the three of the exact same gun video that i did back on what was it town survival that was cool hi brutus just came out of nowhere i see Okay, we just absolutely demolished them. This would be a fun map to just, like, play and get high rounds on, honestly. Very easy setup. Just sort of get into the action real quick. But you don't get all the perks immediately, so you have that initial sort of difficulty curve, which I do like. All right, let's use the five sevens a bit. Ultra and Violet. Like, look at how much ammo they have. 700. Like, that's almost LMG levels of ammo, which is just ridiculous for these two tiny little pistols. I don't think it was this much in BO2, but it was definitely, like... Still like 300, 400 ammo in the reserve, which is a lot for some pistols. I'd expect that on like an SMG or an assault rifle. Yeah, let's spin again. Let's just kind of keep on packet punching random guns just for fun. The Uzi, oh, the MSMC. I mean, it's cool. It's all right. I, I want something a bit more like unique. Though. The Scorpion Evo, there we go. One of the fastest firing weapons in all of COD history. If not the fastest, like, look, we've got 48 ammo in the magazine right now. Watch how fast it's going to disappear with Double Tap 2.0. <laughs> like, that was almost instant, dude. That was like one and a half, maybe two seconds of holding down the trigger. It's, um, it's not the best gun in the world for that reason, because you just run out of ammo so quick, but... 
I think it was only on Origins, right? And it was good in a sense because you could absolutely melt the Panzers with it. But at the same time, why would you ever use a Scorpion Evo over like, you know, a Fire Staff or an Electric Staff or any Staff or even the Ray Gun or like the Mauser, which you spawn in with, you just pack a punch on Origins. Which is why I never really used it that much because it was just like, it wasn't that crazy. But the KSG, another Origins exclusive weapon. This one was pretty cool. Oh, we got the yellow camo now. Like, you know, the Slug Shotgun, you can pretty much one shot zombies from Mars away and okay i'm gonna build up a horde but i think this has better hip fire like look at this like that that's pretty decent for a slug shotgun that has pretty much infinite range i remember it was a bit of a nightmare on multiplayer at one point back in the day on bo2 11 years ago jesus man where does time go oh shit oh shit ah it's not good I should have switched weapon. I backed myself up into the stupid electric chairs, did acid get down? We're fine. Okay, purchase this. Wait, what? I shot the acid gat, dude. That's the thing. Sometimes it literally just doesn't register. But still, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, please leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out this video on screen. YouTube says that you might like it. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video.